Hey guys, it's Wanda from Crazy Days, and it is like 7 o'clock in the morning. I've done been out doing a few things, fixing to head to the greenhouse and get them going this morning, but while it's early and it's not hot, I mean it's already hot and humid, but it's not as hot, it's not 100 degree feels like temperature. Yesterday was 110 feels like, Ooh, it was hot. I'm out, as you can see, the corn behind me, we're trying to keep the critters out of the corn and the sweet potatoes so i think last night was four or five nights we've not had anything in our uh sweet potatoes the leaves are growing back it's looking awesome we're going to do a video shortly and show you what everything's looking like but i'm working on my roses i have a lot of people asked about the rose garden so i'm going to show you the roses what they're looking like they're not all blooming they were blooming last week but it was raining so I couldn't come out here and do anything about that, but I've just been deadheading. I'm fixing to fertilize, and then I've been going to the pond, and I'll show you how close it is. I've been dipping water out of the pond and coming up here and putting some in at least once a week for fertilize, but then I also have rose food. Now, it doesn't look like much right now because there's no blooms, but we're going to bring the weed eater. You can see Danny hasn't weed eaten yet, but um, we do that. Today's Saturday, so he'll probably be working on that later. But we weed it around it, and I come through about once a week and pull this stuff up. Even though you have weed fabric, stuff will grow under it or on top of it, I'm just saying. And where he's mowed, you see the stuff there, the grass is dead. But overall, I've not had one of my roses die. They've all been blooming. They've all bloomed well. This little rose was sent to me. This is a knockout rose, a little small, like the flowers are like this big. I just deadheaded it. It was full of blooms last week. So for the person that sent that, it is doing awesome. The rest of them I bought at Walmart because people asked, where did you get your roses? I have tags at each one of them, but it's under this weed fabric in plastic. So I know which one is which, but I have to take all the rocks up and I have to pull it back and look. And so I'm not going to tell you names. I do know this is kind of a peachy color. It's fixing to bloom. This is the one that is um, variegated, peachy, orange, yellow looking color when it blooms out. It makes about a big rose. And about three-fourths of these are uh, fragrant roses. They do have the rose smell. Um, this one... As you can see, I just deadheaded. It was full of blooms. And I don't remember which is which. And the rocks all have names on them. These are my family rocks. Um, Danny's daughter Jennifer gave these to me for Christmas a few years ago. And I've got three that I need to make for my twins and my newest grandbaby. That's almost All of them are almost two years old. We haven't gotten the new ones done. But each family has their family rocks around a bush each each bush is for a family and you can see i've deadheaded all these i have the purple rose it's supposed to be kind of a purple color but to me it's a light light pink um the weather gets them it was really hot yesterday so this one was gorgeous got one coming out here 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 this one's kind of a white and darker pink and you can see all the blooms on it but again the weather gets it time they come out they're beautiful for the first day today this one will go away but if i get a chance i will come back and show you the rose garden in full bloom if it's not raining when they all bloom out probably maybe next week we'll see but look at this this is my pride and joy right now right there I'm not sure if we have any creatures that like pomegranates. So I think I put a little bone sauce on the pomegranate tree on the base. But look at this. Isn't that amazing? They're about, you can see, they're about the size of my hand right now. There's two of them there. They'll get about this much bigger if the weather conditions are right. And these are turning red. I'm hoping they do well. Last year... The inside stayed kind of white looking, but we've got them in the sun, and 
so far. It's just amazing. There's not many down low. They're all up high. And I'm hoping to have a few pomegranates, y'all. Isn't that amazing? Deep South growing pomegranates. So I thought I'd just show you a little bit about the rose garden today. What it looks like, because so many have asked. And hopefully it won't be raining the next time they bloom. So one good thing about weed fabric and sand, you can weed it really quickly. It took me about 15 minutes. Look at the roots on this. This is the chamber bitters. I pulled it from right there. But look what a difference it makes. Danny hasn't even weeded it yet. And I pulled all the excess away from it and put it, took all the little weeds off the fabric. Still got some leaves that I took off the roses. But doesn't it look better once he mows the yard and runs the weed eater around? Everything will start looking so much better. And this is my new sign pole I put in there right off the bat. I've got to get a sign that says the rose garden. Headed to look at Amazon, guys. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. I didn't want to put a sign until I knew. That my roses were going to stay and they were going to look good in this heat. Uh, we've had about four days or five of over 100 degree heat. They're hanging in there. So I'm going to think the rose garden is going to be established now and we're going to hunt a sign. We're going to do a little bit of an update on the high tunnel, my high tunnel, the queen dome. These are Trail of Tears beans. They've already dried. I've been taking them off the vine. You already saw, if you watched previous videos, how many Trail of Tears beans I got off three plants. Those three plants, I took the leaves off. They're reproducing. I've taken three times this off already and have in the house. And I'm going to go show you what it looks like now. All right, guys. It is about quarter to eight in the morning. I took the uh, petunias all the way back to the ground and look at them they came out beautiful again working doing what they are supposed to they're blooming this little corner's hanging in there really good the peppercorns are looking amazing they're starting to put on runners and you can see here we're just gonna keep running them up hopefully I gotta get it off the petunia but I'm going to try and run this up. My goal was to have the peppercorns going all the way up, hook them on that, have them go over and come over. And uh, here's the other peppercorn. It already has this one started right here. And it's this far up. We got about this far last year before a cold snap. We don't have any cold snaps coming right now. It might cool off, but it's not going to get cold. So if I have this one over here and this one here and I can run them up, I intend to make an arch over here with peppercorns eventually. I took most of the leaves off. I've taken most of the big pumpkins off. Um, we have a few small ones, so I'm not taking it. And right now it's still blooming. But you see I still have some this size. Um... I have some here this size and like I said it's still blooming and still growing even though I've taken a lot of it out I took like three-fourths of it out and Danny said why don't you take it all out and I said no it's still blooming I still have small I probably have ten small ones in here right now so I'm leaving it alone we're not taking it out yet this is my pink eye purple hole peas. They got a little leggy because it rained so much, but they're finally kicking in. And hopefully, before long, we'll have some peas. The tea trees are growing real well. Then we have the turmeric and ginger doing good. Plants here are doing okay. This one's still hanging in there. Everything here is doing okay. We had 
one sweet potato squash that came up out of all, I think I planted two or three, but one came up. Uh, the mums are starting to bloom. These are the black eyed peas, I believe. They're leggy a little bit because of the rain, but they're starting to kind of catch up and I'm hoping to have a few black eyed peas. These are the red rippers. They're finally starting to kick it. Um, the red, red rippers should run this vine the vines should run this before long but look three plants still going i trellised them up this one look at the beans now the bottom looks kind of weird because it's just vines and i've been knocking off all the dead leaves and stuff just vines but it's still green going up it's still blooming we got bees flying around in here this is the second plant you see it all the way up trellised it up harvesting beans look at this i'm waiting till they turn like i showed you the the dry ones these will dry by tomorrow because it's hot and humid in here over 100 degrees I keep it about 90 with the fans it stays about 90 in here but still it's hot and humid and look at the third one it's already reached the ceiling how are we going to pick those i have no idea uh, we'll let them dry and then we'll pull the vines down i'm assuming or get a ladder but isn't that amazing three plants and i'm going to show you the ones i planted i planted in between this one didn't do anything. This one went to right there. This one's right there. This one right here. You see most of them to right here. They've not really done much. Here's another one. This one's got leaves to right here. This one started. Now this one is kind of trying to kick it a little. But overall... The three I started with, this one, the one in the middle, and the one down on the end are the only three that are still doing well. And you see, blooms. Totally, totally amazing. Trelateers beans. I'm leaving them till they get dry. We're using them as dry beans. I'm going to show you a recipe soon.